is up, Humanoid Nation? So, I'm going to review SmackDown. Hey, I haven't done Raw or SmackDown in quite a while. I'm just going to start doing SmackDown reviews, mostly because of two reasons. It's not three hours, it's two hours, and it's good that way because Raw three hours is just way too goddamn much. And the second reason is one reason only. Mauro Ronaldo, his commentary is amazing. He, my God, this dude, this guy, he can make the most simplest matches amazing. It's like, it could be a boring match and the guy would be going crazy. Oh my God, this is what we I missed. Unlike Raw, where you have that schmuck Michael Cole being bland as a motherfucker. Mauro Ronaldo, he gets energetic no matter what, because God damn. This, I'm going to start watching more SmackDown. I almost said SmackDown Live, because like I'm, they forced that inside your fucking head so much. And it's still a stupid name. But hell, let's do this review, because I'm just going to do it real time. Like, after a segment is done or after a match is done, I'm just going to come back here and tell you what's going on. So, first of all, we start out with a bunch of tag teams in the women's division. Inside the ring, of course, Shane O'Mac and Daniel Bryan come out. Just because they always have to come out. Yeah. So, yeah. Nikki Bell is back, for fuck's sakes. I was glad Eva Marie wasn't in the match at SummerSlam. But then Nikki Bella came out. Oh, fuck! I can't stand her. I just can't stand her. I'm going to call her the Triple H female wrestler. No, you know what? Nikki H. That's what I'm going to call her. Because basically, she's only there because who she's married to. Well, not married to, going out with sucking John Cena's dick and John Cena's sucking Vince's dick. So yeah, she's Nikki H from now on. So, SmackDown unveils their new titles and what the fuck, guys? What is with its company in atrocious title designs? First, there was the period blood champion with all the red. Wow, just wow. Tag team titles? I don't think they were even trying. Hell, they just got a black strap and just put on some fucking gold on it and there you go, you're done. There's your tag team titles. Okay, lazy day at the office. And then we got the women's title. At least it's not all blue, but it still looks horrible. Blue in the middle and a bunch of gold around. What? Seriously, what is up with these title designs? Oh my god. Is the SmackDown title, the main title, the WWE title going to turn blue as well? Or or are they going to confuse it with the women's title? Who knows? Heath Slater comes out, and I'm so surprised Heath Slater is getting a pop. And, yeah, he inserts himself into the tag team tournament, which is funny, though, because, like, hey, I know it's wrestling and all. It's all dramatic and shit, and, like, it's soap opera and stuff. But thinking from outside of wrestling, like, hey, hey, if you, if you don't work in a company, how do you insert yourself into a tag team title tournament? It's kind of funny, though. But yeah, we have a tag team tournament set up. Although what doesn't make sense is this. Backlash, we got a 6-1 pack team challenge to crown the new women's champion of SmackDown. Bet you anything Nikki H is going to win that shit, because why not? Because fuck, fucking why not? Oh, I hate, I can't stand her. But instead of a tag team turmoil match, we're going to have a tournament to see who gets to be champion at Backlash. Okay, you couldn't make a tag team turmoil. Okay. I just don't get... What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, my God. And what's up with WWE, like, confusing the shit out of you lately? Like, these tournaments, like, on Raw, were like, the guys that came out in the beginning were going to be in, like, one on mad one one-on-one -on -one matches to determine the new champion at the end. And yet, Colin Cassidy takes on Rusev, who wasn't in the damn thing in the beginning, which confused the shit out of me. I'm going like, so we're just putting in people now. 
And there was other matches where people in the beginning were not in there. That he just put in there. It's confusing as fuck. Okay, so we got the women's match between Becky Lynch and Alyssa Bliss. Alexa Bliss. Becky Lynch. My God, she's beautiful. She so is. And we got Natalia and Naomi on commentary. Natalia is at least threatening this. And Naomi just... Naomi, she just sounds like a mouse. Like, oh, oh I disagree. It's like I'm going to beat you. I disagree. Come on, put some emotion in that shit. Becky Lynch wins, which is awesome. It is awesome. But yeah, that's what's going on. And it looks like Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles are going to have a match at Backlash, because why not? And Heath Slater's on the search for a tag team partner to wrestle next week instead of this week. Okay, then. Oh, uh, so much confusion. And we have the Usos taking on Rikishi 2016, the Ascension. And what I mean by that is like the Ascension were came in with so much full of promise. They were fretting. Then they got jobbed out left and right. So, yeah. Usos win over the, the Ascension. Yeah, who didn't see that coming? So I'll be back when I see the next segment or match. Holy shit, Kidman's on TV. That's, that guy has been on TV in quite a long time. So yeah, the reason I'm so surprised, like yeah, AJ Styles come out and does a promo saying he's the new face that runs this place. Dolph Ziggler comes out, they're about to fight and then like Jamie Noble and a bunch of agents come out to stop him. And one of them I see is Billy Kidman. I go like, holy crap, it's Billy Kidman. God damn. He's still, yeah, yeah, god damn. Oh, yeah. They announced that they're having a fight. They're wrestling later on in tonight. If AJ Styles wins, he'll take on Dean Ambrose at Backlash for the WWE title. If Dolph Ziggler wins, it'll be a triple threat match. So, interesting, either way. She's back after making a surprise. Tonight, Nikki Bella returns to SmackDown Live for the first time since October 2015. Who fucking cares? Here comes Nikki H. From Scottsdale, Arizona, Nikki Bella! Why, God? Nikki Why? Bella a very successful return last night. She is going to be on Talking Smack immediately following SmackDown. Speaking of talking smack, here is the host, Renee Young, standing by in ring. Nikki Bella. Trish, Trish Stratus, she isn't. Nikki, what does it mean to you to have fought back from such a devastating neck injury? Now what does this fucking down live? Yeah, you know, it I have to say. It means everything. When I was told that my injury... Oh, oh wow! Yes! Carmella. Carmella, do it, do it! Beat the shit out of her! The moment as she attacks Nikki Bella viciously! Oh, no. Come on! What are you doing? Well, it's hard to blame her. That's the disrespect. And I don't even like the Carmella that much, but if she's beating the shit out of Nikki, it's all good with me. Respect. Or a damn right it's just I just told Nikki she may never wrestle again. Come on! I wish she never wrestled again. I'm sorry if that's way too mean. I wish Nikki H never wrestled again. That way I don't have to see her on TV ever again. Maybe in porn. I'll watch her in porn. By Renee Young and putting her stamp on the women's division. This merciless beatdown continues. Nikki Bella reported the biggest comeback since Lazarus coming back. Are we gonna have a match or is this thrown out? What am I talking about? There is gonna if there's no match, I'm happy. I don't get to see Nikki H wrestle. She may have broken her nose. Good. Yeah, Fuck, I just realized something. Nikki H getting beat the fuck up. 
She's going to get revenge at Backlash and be the first ever women's SmackDown champion. Fuck! This is going to happen. It's going to happen, isn't it? Making us feel sorry for her. And she's going to win the title to get her victory. Fucking Nikki H. God damn it, Nikki H. Although it doesn't help, there's rumors saying that she'll be the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion. Fuck Nikki H. Man. Did Bray Wyatt just come out dragging his own chair out? That's fucking hilarious. Oh, I'm so I'm an intimidating guy, but I'm dragging my own chair behind me. <laughs> Bray Wyatt just pulled a Fantasio. He just up and left. Okay. Guess Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton a backlash is gonna happen. Crap! We got a Shane McMahon versus Brock Lesnar feud happening. Great. Just great. So we're gonna have Shane McMahon smiling like a motherfucker. Not even afraid once at Brock Lesnar, making him his bitch. And then Brock Lesnar wins, because that's how a Shane McMahon match always worked. Shane McMahon challenges someone. Smiles at them, never afraid, makes him a bitch the entire feud. Makes him look really bad, and then the person wins at the end. Shane McMahon loses. Shane McMahon formula, folks. That's how it goes. Let's look forward to this. Ha 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 ha. special. Is it just me, or is Arn Anderson look like, looking like Wolf of Brimley now? Got myself the diabetes. And what the fuck, Keith Slater? You comparing yourself to Nature Boy? So Rhino is Keith Slater's tag team partner. Something's afoot here. Something's gonna go wrong here. Also, Rizango. Do they not remind you of a living colors men on films? Man, American Alpha, man. What can you say about them? These guys are freaking amazing. Oh! Such technical masterpieces. I missed this technical wrestling, man. There hasn't been that much. They've raised the game of the entire tag team division. They come in, they tell everybody they're the best in the Come on, Mara and Alo, go crazy. Because that's what's cool about your commentary. And it's actually, you're not like a schmuck like Michael Cole. All bland and shit. David Otongo, on the other hand, he's just there. He's just there. What other teams make a successful tag team? It's working together and it's always being on the same page. And it's your ego being in the team and not in yourself. Now it's breezing the electric chair as... Yeah, it looks like American Alpha's gonna win. Oh. Oh, it's just Gable up. He crashes and burns. Put a Corona by Breeze. This could be it. Oh, I was seriously thought Breezango was gonna win there. That would have been bullshit. American Alpha won, but hey, what's going on here? Like, Dean Ambrose is wearing blue now. I guess because of SmackDown Live, huh? Well, if you can't get the title belt to be blue, you might as well wear blue. And wearing a big-ass hat, making him look like a cartoon. But he, it's Dean Ambrose. He can get away with it. And he's gonna do commentary, so it's gonna be good. He denied JBL, though. His slap. Face slap. No, not face slap. Whatever. Fist bump. I don't know anymore. So, AJ Styles beats Dolph Ziggler. So, the burial of Dolph Ziggler continues once again. Kind of a shame, though. But, hey, AJ Styles has a title shot now. Will he win? Not sure. Kind of still too early for him. But, since they're making him look like the big dog now who beat John Cena like hold on a second did not he he beat him in money the bank are we not counting that only the one at SummerSlam okay so they're doing that who knows he may win it against Ambrose but Ambrose has been on a roll being like Jake the Snake Roberts slash Mankind slash Stone Cold not giving a fuck but yeah uh, it sucks for Dolph Ziggler yeah he has so many chances and yet he still gets buried it's gotta suck to be Dolph Ziggler, but hey, anytime AJ Styles has a title shot, it's all good. So basically, that's what's going on for this SmackDown. Uh, join me next time for the next SmackDown live. Oh, God, I just died inside calling it that. Yeah, because I'm going to start doing this again. I know I said it before, it was Raw and SmackDown, but I missed out on a couple 
Yeah, mostly because I'm going to do it because of Mauro Ronaldo's awesome commentary because like, I can't stand Michael Cole's bland commentary. I'll watch it, but I'll skip through the shit because of Michael Cole. He's the reason why I stopped watching wrestling altogether. Well, when he turned heel, that's when I stopped watching because I'm not going to listen to Michael Cole being a fucking bitch. And still, when he stopped doing the heel thing, he was still bland as fuck because he's Michael Cole. But anyway, we all have Mauro and Allo now, so it's all good. So take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye!